Hi guys, John Watson here. I just got my hands on a new uh, AIPTEK, A-I-P-T-E-K, DVM 4500 uh, digital video camera. And my dog just got a bone stolen from her, so she's unhappy about that. Uh, I thought I'd use this camera to put together some quick tutorials on some of the more bizarre Linux things. Uh, this one is on iwconfig, how to use iwconfig to configure your wireless card, how to use ifconfig to bring it up, and how to use dhclient to get an IP address. All of this stuff is being done on a just installed uh, K Ubuntu 5.10 box, a Dell and Sprawl 1000 laptop. The card I'm using is a Linksys WPC 11. Um, it's 11 G or something. I can't remember. Anyhow, and uh, it is an 802.11b network uh, with a stock whatever Linksys 802.11b router down in the basement. I'm doing this because K Ubuntu. Uh, there's something wrong with the panel. Maybe I'll take a shot of that later. And that it will not let me into administrator mode to uh, set up my wireless network in the control panel. Uh, I hit the administrator button. Well, actually, I guess where it is because it's hidden. It then asks me for a password, my password, which I punch in. I know it's correct, uh, but it doesn't put me in administrator mode. So whatever, I don't know what's wrong with that, but I'm going to use iwconfig to bring it up. First thing I want to do, because I'm in Ubuntu or Kubuntu, I have to use sudo for everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is sudo iwconfig. This will give me a list of all the wireless extensions on my on my box. Everybody, or everybody without a network card anyhow, will have an LO because that's your local loopback, 127.0.0.1. ETH0 is what it's calling my wired connection, which is not plugged in right now. ETH1 is what it's calling my wireless card. I know this is my wireless card because it has things like frequency and access point and ESSID and stuff that's only used by um, wireless networks. Uh, Ubuntu box is always called it ETH1. Lens Buyer Boxes calls it WLAN, W-L-A-N-0. So whatever, just look for the one that's got the wireless stuff with it. So this is nice that uh, it detects it. If I did an IWConfig and I got no wireless extensions anywhere, then you've got bigger problems, and you're going to have to turn to Endless Wrapper or something like that to bring it up, because you've got to at least get to the point where the box recognizes it before you can configure it. Your access point likely will also all be all zeros, too. The only reason why it has the MAC address of my access point in here already is because I've already had this card up. It's already associated. It has associated. I've de-associated it for now. So I want to give it my key. So sudo iwconfig. Uh, ETH1 is the interface. Key. And then I'm going to type it in. Um, I really don't care if you guys see my key because if you get uh, within a thousand feet of my house, i got bigger problems. Uh, make sure you get it right because if you don't, you're not going to be able to get an IP address out of your router. And that's going to be concerning, vexing. So uh, that was cool. Now if I do a sudo iwconfig again, there it is, encryption key. It's in there. Sweet. The other problem is I need to give it an ESSID. So sudo iwconfig eth1 ESSID drive on. And then if I do a iwconfig again, there it is. That's all I need. You, if your network is not managed or uh, you know, you don't have it on this frequency or something, you may have to change more. But the defaults work fine for me as long as I give an ESSID and a web key. Up it comes in most cases. Now, uh, it's nice to see this nice configured, but it's still not up. If I do an IF config, interface config, it gives me nothing. I have no interfaces up. So, I'm going to bring it up. Sudo IF config, ETH1 up. Blink. Now, if I do an IF config, there it is. It's up. Now, in most cases, you will not have an IP address in here, or a broadcast IP address. I only have that because I've already had this card up. Uh, so the next step is to get an IP address. In Ubuntu, Kubuntu, you're going to use dhclient, eth sudo dhclient eth1. Off it goes, sends out a request. Act comes back, here's the address, bound to 103. So if I do an IF config, it's going to look the same here, but had you not had, had I not had an IP address before, all of a sudden it would be in there and it'd be going groovy. So now I can ping, right? Yep, there it is. There's Google return, returning my call. The only other thing I want to mention is you can run IW config, let me turn the screen here, as a normal user, and it will give you information. However, there's a critical piece of information missing here. Let's do it as the root user. The crypto key. If I'm doing it as a root user, it will show me the crypto key. If I'm doing it as an unprivileged user, it will not. So 
So if you're looking at your IW config and you know you put the crypto key in and it's not showing it to you anywhere, uh, make sure you're using sudo, running it as sudo. So that's all there is to that. Now, you probably don't want to do this over and over all the time. So what I've done is I've created a file called eth1 in my home directory. And it contains exactly what we just did, sudo iwconfig eth1 and instead of key, my key, my ESSID drive on. You can put them all together on one line. You can string a big long line of commands. I then bring it up. I then ask for an IP address. Now, whenever I log on, I just go eth1, and it runs it for me, configures it, brings it up. There's my IP address. Now, obviously, I don't want to have to do this every time I log on. So I'm going to put this script into the startup file. So every time Ubuntu, Kubuntu starts up for me, it runs this and does this for me. That, however, is the subject of the next video. I'm John Watson. Hope that was helpful.